And we're starting the whole thing on uh, the first national holiday of Truth and Reconciliation Day. Um, so we'll be talking a little bit about that. And we had hoped to have Elder Albert Marshall here today. Um, he started to not feel well over the weekend um, in lieu of him being here and giving us some teachings personally. So he says, we need a new narrative. It should be obvious to all of us, no matter where we come from, that we must make a collective effort, holding the hopes and expectations of all others and with inner reflection and try to answer the question, why am I so silent and in so denial of what is happening with racism, genocide of nature and humanity and every living thing? Let us come together and see how we can move together in love and compassion, using the gifts the Creator has given us to do the work we have to do. No action we take should actively imbalance nature. I honestly believe we have reached a point of no return, allowing the few to compromise natural systems and cleansing of our Mother Earth. She cannot heal at the pace the toxins are being pumped into her. She cannot regenerate herself because the extraction is so vast. We have put our own biodiversity at risk, something that sustains our Mother Earth. How have we forgotten how interconnected we are? How can you survive without air or water or a fertile soil? Are we thinking for the next seven generations as we should? Every action we take has to be in harmony <coughs> and balance with Mother Earth. Knowing the air and water and soil nourish all on Mother Earth should take us into that process of reflection where we all say there is a great need for transformative change. When we are there, then let's all sit down and craft the narrative we need. How do we use the lessons from the past to guide us and come together as one and embrace as one? Whether black or yellow or white, whatever orientation, with what gifts you have or don't have, what can you contribute to live in a balanced and harmonious way? And rest assured that we have all done everything we could so others can enjoy nature and hopefully find Mother Earth in a better condition than it what was. To the, uh, to the center, thank you so much, Bob and your crew, and, and for all, all the great things you're doing. Like Jen, you know, I looked at the website that, to try to understand what it is you're doing and what, what your expectations are, I guess, of community and involvement, and it is tremendous. I, I couldn't help but think coming down here today, Cyrus Eaton, you know, decades ago, what happened on this very site with world leaders looking for peace and, and, the, and the issue around nuclear. I mean, he, uh, that started many, many years ago, and to see you carry that on is fabulous. I, I do want to say a couple things. One thing about the, the climate change, so you'll have no bigger champion for issues around environment and climate, and climate change and effects than, than Councilor Hotelling. We hear that on a regular basis at our council level, and she's very passionate about changes with the environment and uh, and I know that she'll be a big part of this conference with you, and I'm sure we look forward to report, reporting back to Council from her what, what happens over the next few days. The part I was really excited about to read and hear from, from Jen about, and about on the website and see what your work's going to be, and the involvement of the youth. You know, our future leaders are over, over, right over here at the school, and I know that they'll be part of this process. I know they're part of your next day's events. And you know, they're the leaders of our country in the years to come, and to involve them, um, they'll have great ideas, and they'll be very interested in what you're doing. And, and to involve them, I think it's just fabulous. So, uh, on behalf of Mr. Pelley, thank you, Bob, and, and all you folks for what you're doing, and especially on behalf of the children, I think it's fantastic. And I uh, really hope you enjoy the next few days here. We look forward to positive results from your efforts. Thank you.